Hi, I'm Julianne Cost, and I have a quick tip for you today. Someone noticed the other day when I was doing a demo that I actually had 500 images in an image sequence that I wanted to create a time lapse video out of, but I didn't want to actually use all of those images. So I needed to select like every third or fourth image. And Although I could try to do searches and, and maybe look for even numbers or odd numbers, it's not really going to work because my numbering is so high on these images. So what I did is I simply selected the spray paint can and I loaded it up. In this case, I loaded it with a label, but I could do this with a rating if I wanted to. I loaded it with the red label and then I used the keyboard shortcut Shift tab in order to hide all of my panels as well as the module picker and the film strip. And then I just used the plus and minus keys until I got the number of icons across that I needed so that I could choose every fourth image. Then I used my spray can and I just clicked and dragged down, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag and then you can see there's two more here and then I just scrolled down so that what I'm getting is just a column of images quickly selected so that I can then filter based on this label and just select some of those images. So I don't need to go down and do them all. Obviously if I had a larger monitor this would be even quicker. But I could go to attribute and just see those images that I've labeled. Now you might think you're not doing time lapse, you'll never use this. So let's go back here to a different folder and I'll show you a different way that you can use this. If we go to the Halifax folder, and this time I load up the spray paint with something like a rating, maybe one star. I use the same keyboard shortcut, which is shift tab to hide everything else. Use the plus icon in order to see my icons a little larger. Now we can see how easy it is to move through our images and simply click on the images that we like in order to label those images or give those images a star rating. So you can see how quickly I can edit my images. So that is what the paint sprayer is all about. Notice here you can also load this up with keywords, with metadata, with rotation or target collection options, lots of different uses for it. Probably a very underused tool, especially for the power that it has. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks a lot.